My oldest boy, Patrick, uh, battled clinical depression. But here's a guy who had everything going. He's a senior at the University of Notre Dame. He's a good looking kid. He's got a good job. He's scouting for the Anaheim Ducks. And all of a sudden he's finding trouble focusing, trouble getting out of bed in the morning. And he had clinical depression and he had to drop out of school and go get professional help. It included medication, included therapy with a wonderful psychologist who well, our family owes so much to. Anxiety disorders will present problems with worry that's often associated with physical symptoms. Heart racing, fluttering in your stomach, uh, feeling short of breath. Sometimes that will come on very suddenly and we call it a panic attack. And we've been doing training with doctors where with a lot of the new uh, magnetic imaging, for example, you can see there's a difference in the hippocampus of somebody with depression and not. If you're dealing with a lot of stress, that can affect all sorts of other organs in the body and lead to other problems, whether it's heart disease, kidney dysfunction, liver dysfunction. Je connais des gens qui ont souffert de dépression au travail parce que c'est un milieu très stressant avec toutes les horreurs, la fatigue. C'est difficile à un moment donné d'être capable de tout gérer ça en même temps. Tu sais, moi, je me considère chanceux, je n'ai pas d'enfants, mais cette famille directe à faire vivre. Tout, quand tu mélanges tout ça ensemble, ça doit être quelque chose de très, très compliqué à vivre avec. Mais là, je, 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 je fais de la dyshydrose, dyshydrose palmaire. Dans les mains, là, j'ai des restrictions au travail. C'est ça, au niveau de l'anxiété, j'avais des boules d'anxiété. Ça a duré quasiment trois mois. Euh, j'avais de la misère à dormir. Je, je, au travail, la concentration, ces choses-là, c'est ce que ça m'a apporté, moi, personnellement. Ton corps est à bout, euh, il fait des signes, euh, tu tombes souvent malade, euh, tu m'as piqué à des places, tu développes des plaques. Euh, là, tu te dis, voyons, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Puis ton corps, il, rend, il atteint là, la, la limite. Even for young people, information about the problem is most critical. We know that the best way to reduce the stigma of mental illness is to use what we call contact-based education. So essentially having people with lived experience of mental illness discussing you know, um, the experiences uh, with the illness, uh, experiences with stigma, as well as, but more importantly, um, you know, the recovery process, those who help them seek help. The teen helplines are really good resources. You know, the Stress Center in Calgary has one. The next step is the harder step, though, which is making sure these young people connect to resources where they're actually going to get the help that they need for people to come to a place like ours. We try and be welcoming and open and friendly. And the most critical thing about the treatment is finding a counselor that you really feel you can connect with. Certainly the research about counseling is telling us that the relationship between the client and the counselor is the most important variable towards change.